Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a great night. So I wanted to make this video really quick, not only to vent, but to also speak to those who have been in similar situations as me. And maybe you guys didn't know how to handle a situation or maybe took a situation the wrong way. So let me just tell you what just happened to me. So I met someone and this guy was like blowing up my phone when are we gonna hang out yada yada you know all the good stuff and you know i'm a busy single parent so you know we hung out obviously and then like over time it was like every day he wanted to chill so i'm like listen like it's not that i don't want to hang out with you I just, you know, my, my life is a little bit, like, organized. I like to organize and prioritize my life. I understand, like, if I'm down for someone, like, if you even get my time, that should mean a lot to you because I don't give it so freely. So, finally, we made plans to go out tonight. You know what's funny? I just had my intuition was already... My intuition is always on point. I know things before they fucking happen. But I said, you know what? I'm going to get up and I'm going to get ready. Because even if he doesn't show, I'm going to go have a good time. You know, it, it wasn't just me and him. Like, I'm going to go hang out with my, fr with my friends and my family. And I just invited him to be fucking nice. So, I'm getting ready. And then he messages me and he says that he's... um that he can't come or oh, I work early okay like we made this plan like a week ago and I'm like okay that's all I said I just said okay and then that's when the messages start and he keeps texting me and he's like oh look it's so hard to make plans with you I'm gonna stop you right there listen when people do that to you <laughs> obviously so he, he admitted that he just started drinking around 6 o'clock, which is cool. But you know what? I get it if that's the case because that's happened to me plenty of times. I'd be a liar if I said that never happened to me where I made plans. And I'm like, oh, my God, I drank too much. I was supposed to meet up with so-and-so. But I let them know. I'm like, listen, I'm so sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit happens. We're human. But with this guy, it was not that that happened. What it was was what he said. And what he said was that it's so hard to make plans with you. Bitch. Really? So I said, no, we had a plan, but you decided to drink at six o'clock and now you're drunk. Whatever. That's a story, right? Um, so yeah, so. I've learned to, to hold myself at a high standard because of things like this because I feel like if you feel like something's off or that something's sketchy, it's because it fucking is. Who knows? Maybe he's out at the bar. He met someone. Cool. Whatever. But be honest. Like, if you don't want to fucking go out, you can just say it. But not a lot of people can be like that. Dang, I hope they're okay. It was a really bad accident here. So, I said all that to say this, that continue to hold your guys up how to hold you guys oh my gosh i can't talk right now just hold your your guys <laughs> why can i say it what am i trying to say hold hold a high standard for yourselves there you go that sounds better and this is not just for women this is for men too because bitches be playing games too okay women and men but when you get to a certain age and not only just age but when you know what you want in a person and you're looking for someone if you want to settle down listen if you want to do games you just want to fuck around that's cool as long as everyone's straight up and straight to the point i get it it's okay honesty is key communication is key but don't sit here trying to act like you're trying to be my fucking husband and trying to run up game because that's not no we're not doing that i'm not only am i too old for this shit but that's not what we discuss so I'm not playing this game with you. You're going to play this with someone else or by your damn self. Hold yourselves up at a high standard because I feel like even when these little things happen, there are times that I do get like, damn, like, why is this happening to me? And then, you know, sometimes I feel like spirit likes to test you because when things like this happen, it almost makes you question your worth. But I'm learning now to like, you know what? That has nothing to do with me. 
that has nothing to do with me. And who knows? What if spirit, what if God, what if something is saving you from this person? Like, what if this is some sort of protection? So don't let that shit bother you. Don't let that shit phase you. You know, on to the next one. Oh my gosh, my witch is in the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's, you know, you have to keep that mindset that, you know what? Maybe that person is not for me. And then just drop it and move on. And look, I did not put on this cute outfit, put on my makeup for no reason. And I, and I made plans. My cousins were all meeting up together and I'm going to have a great time. And in that energy of having a great time and being okay with where you're at, where you're at in life. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's hard for me to talk today. You know, just being in that energy and just being happy with, you know what? It's okay. If I'm fucking by myself, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? We're here to all have a good time. Whether it's with someone or not. Bitch, I'm still have fun. I'm still going to adult bingo. And I'm still going to win a deal though and go home by myself. Happy. <laughs> it's still a great time. So, if you guys get into situations like this or sometimes you question like, why am I still single? Why this? Why does this happen to me? It's all... I mean, this is too bright for me. Hold on. It's all part of the process. Never think it's about you because it's not. That is so bright. <laughs> and just, I feel like in your time of like being yourself, having fun, doing things that you're passionate about and just being in that moment, like that's what brings in not only partners, this is this is only have to be about, you know, finding love, but finding, you know, the right people, like the people, don't you want people around you that fuck with you? Or do you want fake ass people around you? You choose. Okay? I love you guys.